I'm Mark Busing. I'm from Libertyville High School here in Greenland with Operation Ice Bridge as part of the Polar Trek program, and I'm talking to Jeff Chandler, one of the NASA pilots. I'm here with Scott Farley. He's one of the NASA test pilots flying with Operation Ice Bridge in Greenland. Uh, I'm here with Lieutenant Commander Kathy Martin, and she's flying with NASA's Operation Ice Bridge. Tell us uh, where you grew up and uh, where you went to high school. Grew up in Minnesota, just south of Minneapolis called Apple Valley, and that's where I went to high school. Uh, I grew up in Lodi, California, in Central California. I went to Tokyo High School. I'm from North Andover, Massachusetts, and I went to North Andover High School. What were you interested in in high school? My main interests were science, math, that kind of stuff. Played soccer, ran track one year. Uh, sports, uh, mostly baseball and golf. Well, I played field hockey, ran track. And after high school, what did you do? Uh, I got an ROTC scholarship to Northwestern University in Chicago. And I went there for mechanical engineering. Um, I, I took the hard route. I wasn't the best high school student, so I went uh, right in the military out of high school. And I uh, went to Andrew Riddle Aeronautical University at night, mm -hmm. got my degree in uh, aeronautics. And uh, from there, I uh, transferred from the Marines into the Navy to the Offshore Candidate School program. I went to Florida Institute of Technology in Melbourne, Florida. And I started as an aviation major and also got a degree in meteorology. I always knew that I was going in the Navy. My father was in the Navy and was a pilot in the airlines after he got out, and that always interested me as a kid. So my ambition was to be a pilot, and the easiest way to get to that was to go through the military. Plus, I was interested in the military since my father was. Okay. So what did you uh, do in the military? What did you fly there? I started out in the jet community, started flying F-18s, then transitioned to P-3s, and then after P-3s, I flew the Gulfstream, um, some King Airs and ATRs, and then now I'm back in the P-3 with NASA. Uh, as I said, I started out uh, enlisted in the Marines um, as an avionics technician uh, in the crewman run helicopter for about uh, nine years. And then I uh, got accepted in the Navy into the pilot program and I've been flying P3s ever since. So this is like an uh, old, old hat for you? Yeah, yeah, I was very, very fortunate to retire from the Navy and uh, went right to work for NASA. I decided I wanted to fly when I was in high school, so I applied to flight school for college. And I started flying straight as soon as I got to college. And what did you do after college until now you're flying with Operation Icebridge? When I graduated from college, I applied to the NOAA Corps and got accepted into the NOAA Corps in uh, 2000. I've been with the NOAA Corps ever since. Started out on ships for two years and then got picked up for the aviation program and I've been flying for NOAA for almost 12 years now. What kind of flying have you done with NOAA? With NOAA, I fly our Turbo Commander for we measure the water content in the snowpack for the National Weather Service, and I also fly our P3 for hurricane research. Wow, the Hurricane Hunters. Yes. Is that what they're called? Yes. Uh, what's your favorite part of flying for NASA in particular? Well, it's going to give me um, more travel around the world, see a lot more places than I already have, and especially um, it's going to take me to the seventh continent. So I've been to six of them already, so with NASA I'll get my seventh. Uh, um, what's the uh, What's the toughest part of the job, of being a pilot? I would say now that I've got a family, it's the travel, being away from my, my wife and my kids. But on the flip side of it, the travel is kind of the best part yeah. because I've been around the world several times, um, been over 50 countries, six continents, seen a lot of things, met a lot of different people, and that's probably, it is absolutely the best part. The best part about being a pilot is you, you get to experience a lot of uh, nature that most people don't see. Um, you know, most uh, people when you go on a vacation, you see what's close by a road, whereas uh, you'll see a lot of remote areas that with the, when you fly around and stuff that people just can't appreciate uh, on a normal basis. It's, it's really great access. And what's the toughest part of the job? Um, being away from my family is tough. Every time I go away, it seems to get harder, especially when my kids get older. Mm -hmm. But uh, um, we get to go to some great places and do some exciting things with some great people and it's really rewarding work, very important work as well. So. The best part about flying, uh, I would say for the hurricane mission, is actually you know, we do a purpose. We're trying to warn people of where the storm is going to go and make sure they get out of harm's way and know how strong the hurricane is going to be and where it's going to go. And what's the toughest part of your job? The toughest part of the job? We travel a lot. We've gone up to half the year, six months out of the year. Uh, what advice would you give to a student in high school right now that wanted to follow a similar path to your? I would say is work, work as hard as you can. Uh, don't let anyone stop you, but you're the only one that can control that. So if you want to achieve it, you have to work hard to achieve it. No one's going to hand it to you. 
Well, I would uh, not follow my footsteps because I did things the hard way. Um, I would uh, be a good student and uh, look further down the road than uh, the present. Um, think about uh, their actions that are going to affect you, not just today, but tomorrow and, and well into the future. Um, and don't give up. If you stumble on the way, it's, it's not too late to recover. Do well in school. Make sure you study. Um, science, math, and engineering tend to be good topics to get into a career like my own, uh, along with aviation. And then, obviously, when you're done with high school, go on to college. Do well there. And you don't need to pick your major right away. Once you get to college, you can figure that out once you get there.